I don't know who needs to hear this, but somebody with the Nine of Swords is feeling anxious. They're having sleepless nights because they feel trapped with the Eight of Swords. Trapped that they cannot express, confess, or show their immense love for you with the King of Cups. They're still holding on with the Four of Pentacles and holding on dearly. You see how slippery this card is to their steely and unfeeling Emperor Self. They're distracting themselves with the Eight of Pentacles, with their work, with whatever else that's happening in their life. But this cannot continue any longer. With the Death card, there's an end to the cycle, especially given that Mercury retrograde will happen as of May 10th. And with that energy and the Six of Cups, their emotion, their psyche, and their conscious brain will be flooded with memories of you. And this is not just memories of this lifetime, but many lifetimes gone by. And they will be forced to reckon with the fact that this is a divinely guided union. This is a divinely guided pairing. And every lifetime, they ended up giving you their Ace of Cups with the Judgment card. The angels are watching over this union or reunion and life after life, this connection, this love story was re resurrected over and over again, only for the lovers to come together. So the energy is set for your Four of Wands for your happy ending and with the sun card. It is the divine that is stepping in to make this right. If this is your story, claim it.